Hello, my name is Andy, and I am the village idiot, and I'm armed with a car and a GoPro, and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Welcome back to West Lindsay, and I'm stood in an echoey railway tunnel. It's not very much of a tunnel, it's just a big bridge really, but it runs over Clay Lane, which you'll find in Gate Burton. Gate Burton, sometimes called Burton Gate, is a village and civil parish in West Lindsay and it's situated four miles south of the town of Gainsborough. The population is extremely small and as such is listed under the civil parish of Martin. There's no separate data for Gate Burton so today there's no demographics section. This will be a very short video too owing to the fact that I can't film all of it. The main public roads are the A156, the very same that we've seen in the previous two episodes, and Clay Lane, a dead end which we'll travel to the end of later. Aside from those, Gate Burton's land is covered by the massive Gate Burton Hall and its surrounding parkland, which is of course private. There are no amenities of note here, barring a church which we'll see shortly. Gate Burton is so small that I'm not even sure the number of houses here breaks into double figures. It's likely though at one time it did, that's because Gate Burton has earthworks which are the remains of a medieval village. There were two manors at Gate Burton at the time of the Doomsday Book which were held in 1086 by Count Allen of Brittany. By the 13th century Gate Burton was held by the Trehampton family along with their manor of Lee and both Lee and Gate Burton belonged to Lord Burgh of Gainsborough in the 16th century. In the 17th and early 18th century the Lordship of Gate Burton formed part of the Nath estate of the Lords Willoughby of Parham. It was sold around 1739 to the Hutton family, formerly of Treswell in Nottinghamshire, and William Hutton's house of 1784 to 1780 forms the core of the present Gate Burton Hall. It's now two residences and is Grade 2 listed. It was originally termed as landscape furniture. That term alone indicates the Huttons were very clearly rich. Gate Burton Chateau is another really interesting building which we can't access. It's what's known as a Temple Folly and it was built in 1747 by James Payne. It's now a landmark trust property that's available for holiday lets. Given the nature of some of the property in Gate Burton, it's somewhat surprising that the average house is only on the market here for £390,000. Okay, for the next part of the video, I'm heading towards the Church of St. Helen. Now to do that, I have to go towards Gate Burton Hall along this track through those gate piers, which you've just seen. Now it does say this is private, but, but I have had it uh, confirmed by a local who I've literally just seen at the gates, which was a bit of luck, that I am actually allowed to walk to this church. I did ask on Facebook as well, just to make sure that this was not trespassing. And the overwhelming response from everybody was that yes, you are allowed to go to the church, but nowhere else. The present St. Helen's Church is at least the third on the site. In 1741, the chancel of the first St. Helen's Church was in ruins, and in 1784, a petition was put forward to demolish and rebuild the whole church. The replacement was built at the Hutton family's expense prior to 1793. It was replaced again by the existing limestone building of 1866, which is a Grade II listed building. Sir George Gilbert Scott built the present incarnation. It has a west tower, chancel, geometrical tracery and a vestry projecting from the north side with a triangular window. To the north and the east of the church is a series of ditched earthwork closes that clearly once continued into the ploughland to the east, where traces of their extent are visible as soil marks and aerial photographs. Now when was the last time you saw a church that had an outside toilet block? St Helens here in Gate Burton does. That's quite handy. Aside from the church, there are some other magnificent buildings on the Gate Burton estate. We've already touched upon the chateau, but today's picture bit will show you some of the others. 
Now to the end of Clay Lane, and all that's down here is a farm known as Clay Lane Farm. To access it, you have to drive under this railway bridge, or tunnel as it's known to the locals. This carries the same Doncaster to Lincoln railway line that we've seen before in places like Nath Park and Stowe Park. I certainly wouldn't recommend trying to visit this one yourselves though. That's because Clay Lane is not only very narrow, but it's also really bumpy because it's used heavily by farm traffic. And that's pretty much it for Gate Burton. Now, unlike Nath, which is a little bit bigger than Gate Burton, this one is actually getting a picture bit because there are some things that I can't access. We'll see those right now. Okay, that's pretty much it for the parish of Gate Burton. Now, here at the railway tunnel, there's one more thing I just want to mention, and that is the land that's around here. That's over there, and I think possibly the other side as well, not sure. Uh, and the reason for that is because, if you remember the Sornby episode in Bassett Law, the farmers who uh, gave me access to the church in Sornby as well as farming out there, they also farm the land out here. I thought it was worth mentioning um, because when I researched going to St. Helens Church, they were one of the people that uh, got in touch about it and told me that they farm this land too. So uh, yeah, there's a connection there between a Bassett Law Parish, Sornby, and one in West Lindsay, Gate Burton. Time for me to move on to my next one. I've been Andy, and this has been the Parish of Gate Burton, and I've been the Village Idiot, and I'm out. <laughs>